Some days I sit down to do these videos and I feel instead of the need to talk about what is currently inspiring me, I just need to paint and get my inspiration out and hope that it kind of comes across and inspires you all. So I'm going to just quickly mention this beautiful book by Jessica Swift, Messages of Hope, Healing and Comfort, Radiant Rainbows. This book I had received in the mail around the same time I was going through uh, my little uh, rescue dog was super, super sick and at the vet hospital, and I was so worried about him. I had taken him uh, during the night a couple nights, and the one thing that I grabbed to take with me, normally it's my sketchbook and some paints, but I took this book because I just thought, you know, I'm not, it, you know, it's late at night, I'm not feeling like painting at the vet office or the vet hospital but this little book was just such a great uh, it really was a comfort and I just wanted to share that because I have been thinking about rainbows wanting to paint more rainbows uh, this was just an inspiring book um, you can learn more about Jessica's story if you follow her on Instagram and her website I will link this book in the description of this video I also wanted to say that this is one of the reasons I decided I wanted my art in an oracle deck of sorts. So instead of taking a book, you know, how amazing would it be if I could just have a little handheld deck of cards uh, near me in times when I felt I needed hope, healing and comfort? Because I, I will keep taking this book with me. I love it. But it just made me realize there is a need for this in our lives. And for some people, this would be a really great thing to have. I can hear my little rescue dog coming to see me now. I also just wanted to paint today. So this is a painting that I had done. I dated it. So uh, I had done it just uh, in April and it was April of this year. And I was just getting more into the landscape mode of these watercolor backgrounds that were very intuitive, just choosing colors that I love, choosing metallic, metallic watercolors and using the Posca pens and all these mark making tools over top. And I really want to paint like this right now. Typically my work, here's one that I still have not finished, but I hope to soon. My work is often in this format, this composition. So I'm really going to play around and just go with what I feel right now, which is painting in this more landscape mode. So I'm working out of an art journal with 140 pound paper, really high quality paper. And I'm, I've activated my watercolors, but I'm just going to spritz them again. And I use just a mixture of different watercolor brands and colors. I'm going to wet my round number 12 brush. And I'm just craving blues. So I'm going to go into some of my favorite dark, dark blue colors. And I often love to put the darks in the middle of my work. And I'm going to dip into some different shades of the blue. And I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just kind of going to go with what I... I'm craving in the moment and I don't paint with a lot of blue. And immediately I want to pull in this sort of um, a yellow ochre, more like a army green. I don't know my colors very well, but I'm just craving slipping it in here. And I'm just putting it in a few places. And I'm gonna add in more gray. So I do use a lot of gray as a neutral in my work because I love colors. So adding in gray is just a wonderful way to kind of break it up. And immediately I want to put in some of the warmer colors. I love this kind of peachy, fleshy color. I'm just going to kind of go in the middle here. And I love, I love how it kind of blends in right here with these other colors. It's creating almost a little bit of a gray. 
I love orange. I'm just gonna pop some color in this over here, see how the colors work together. And I'm not really judging what I'm doing. I'm not thinking about doing a landscape. I'm just thinking about what colors do I love and just kind of slipping them in and just, you know, if I'm liking what I'm doing, I'm repeating it. And then maybe slip in a couple different shades of the orange. This one's a darker orange. Uh, I might put this one over here. That's a very rich kind of a, almost like a pottery clay orange. I don't know what that would be called. I'll put some in over here as well. And this palette is so different from what I am used to. I'm cleaning my brush on a napkin. When I do videos, uh, I dip into the water and clean my brush in a bit of a different sequence just because I'm filming. So there's less up and down to get new water. I like to just have this one pot of water here. I'm adding in some light blues and I'm getting that gorgeous feathering, or as some artists call it, the cauliflower look. And I'm gonna dab in with my paper towel or napkin here and just not let it seep through too much in the middle, in the spine. And I'm gonna just add in a little bit more of that orange and I'm gonna just add in some metallics now. So I'm gonna Let my studio door close. I, I need some WD-40 on the door. <laughs> oh, that metallic. This is um, an iridescent fine gold. I believe this is a Daniel Smith watercolor from the tube that I have put in here. I mix my watercolors, so I'm not great when people want to know specific colors when I'm working out of my palette because I really do create my own and they get pretty mixed up. So this is becoming a really nice base. Because I have that sort of clay orange, I'm gonna dip into this. This is like a copper almost. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of metallic over here. And determine what other colors. I might add a hint of pink in here. And maybe like a pinky grayish purplish color just right in here. Very much looks like that same color in here. And I really didn't leave a lot of white space in this, which is interesting. And that's okay. I love white space in my work. As you can see in this one, there's a lot of white space. And here comes my little rescue. He's decided that he needs to open the studio door because he feels shut out. So, hi Oakley, you can come in. Okay, there we go. And what I'm going to do with this is let it dry and go back in over top with mark making a little bit later. And what I want to do now is maybe we'll just have some fun and finish a few paintings. So these are cut up paintings and I love being able to finish them with watercolor and mixed media supplies over top. It is such a fun practice and um, I'll just do, do a couple here as an example. I'm just kind of craving this particular one right now. And so let's just start that. Okay, so in this painting, I recall I used acrylic paint, so with the watercolors, I'm going to go around the acrylic paint and I'm feeling like maybe using, let's just see here, I might use some um, neons. I love using neon in my work. 
going over top of the acrylics because it can create a bit of a resist. Um, so I'm really liking that. And I'm going to add in maybe a little bit of, maybe more of some of these beautiful pinks. I believe this is a magenta from Daniel Smith. I love magenta. And go right to the edge. And just for fun, I'm going to add in some of that iridescent gold in there, and maybe down here. And I could tape this down, but I'm okay to just sort of work on it like this. And I'm going to bring my Neocolor Karin Dosh crayons. And these are the Neocolor 2s, the water-soluble crayons. And I'm just going to look at this and decide what do I want to put in here. I'm going to go with... I want an orange or this blue. I could add more blue. Maybe I'll add in a little bit more of this turquoise up in the corner. And I love how that goes on while the watercolor is still wet. And then I might add some variety in the colors by adding in this beautiful turquoise this lighter turquoise along the side and I might do I'm seeing this awesome olive green I might add some energy in there and I'm really liking that and then what I would do is just uh, use maybe uh, a permanent pen and add some writing and then when somebody picks up my art I can add it as a little gift tag and this is just a really good exercise in practicing some of the materials you have around working small and using old paintings that you've cut up so I'm gonna just leave it there and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be on again soon